Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you a little bit more about the user interface. I'm going to show you how to adjust your view panels, and I'm going to show you how to move about inside your the 3D space. Let's start out by going up to our display menu on our menu bar. Go down to UI Elements, which is the user interface elements, and you will see a list of all the items that make up your user interface. We've got our status line, shelf, time slider, range slider, command line, help line, toolbox, and our channel box and layer editor. You can turn any of these off just by clicking on it. So if we wanted to hide our shelf, I'll just put my cursor over the word shelf and then click with the left mouse button and it hides our shelf. Our shelf is no longer visible. To bring it back, simply go back up to your display menu, go down to UI elements and over to shelf and just re-click it again and it brings it back. So if you accidentally hide any part of your UI, just go up to your display menu and look for it in your UI elements list. And just make sure it has a check, bar, a check mark by it, and then it will be visible in the UI. Okay, let's talk about the view panels. Right now we have a single view panel open, and it's a perspective view. We're looking through the perspective view camera. Over here in our toolbox on the left-hand side, the bottom half, there's a button for our perspective view and then right underneath that is a button for our four view panel layout. I'm going to click on that. And now we have our four view panels open. Now right now they're all equal size. And they're all divided by kind of a bar. A horizontal and a vertical bar. If we place our cursor over let's say the horizontal bar, if we place our cursor over it the cursor will change and now if you press and hold down your left mouse button you can move your mouse up and down to resize. Again all I'm doing is moving my mouse cursor over the bar and then when the, the cursor changes I'm going to press and hold down the left mouse button and now I can move my mouse up and down to resize that. We can also do the same thing for this vertical divider. Just put my mouse cursor over it press and hold down the left mouse button and now I can move my mouse left and right to resize that. You can also go to the very center of those dividers and you can move them all simultaneously. Okay, I'm going to go back into my toolbox over here and I'm going to click on the perspective view button there's some information that you can display inside your view panel that may or may not be helpful for you depending on what your preferences are. So let's go ahead and pull up a list that shows us what we can display inside our view panels. I'm going to go up to display menu. I'm going to go down to heads up display. And everything in this list can be shown or hidden in our view panels. But I want to bring your focus to two things. One's called the view axis and the other one is called the view cube. The view axis on my screen already has a check mark so it's already visible. The view cube does not. I'm going to go ahead and click on that to make it visible. The upper right hand corner of my view panel you'll see this box. That is the view cube. Now if you have an older version of Maya you may or may not have this option. The bottom left hand corner of my view pa uh, panel you'll see a blue Z, a green Y, and a red X. I'll pull up my heads up display list. That's the view axis and the view cube. Okay, why are these useful? The bottom left, this is the view axis. Our 3D space has horizontal, it has basically width, depth, and height. So if we look at this view axis down here in the bottom left hand corner of my view panel, you'll see a blue Z, which is our depth you'll see a red X which is our width and you'll see a green Y which is our height. So any point in this 3D space can be defined by three coordinates. How far along our depth or our Z axis, how far along our X or X axis, and how far along our Y or Y axis. Now the very center of this grid is the origin. So the coordinates are zero, zero, zero. So zero value for Z, 
a zero value for x and a zero value for y. If we go in the direction of the blue, or the, I'm sorry, the green y, it will go positive direction y. So as we go above this grid, the, the uh, coordinates will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so forth. If we go down below the grid, it will be negative 1y, negative 2y, negative 3, and so forth. And same thing, if we go the direction of the, green, the red x, it will be 1x, 2x, 3x. If we go the opposite direction, it will be negative 1x, negative 2, 3, 4, and so forth. And the same goes for the z axis. If we go the direction of the z, then it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so forth. If we go the opposite direction, it will be negative 1, negative 2. So anywhere in this 3D space can be defined as three coordinates, z, x, and y. Now we can move our camera around this 3D space three different ways. We can pan, we can rotate, and we can zoom in and out. Now before we do that, let me show you about this cube up here if you have this option. I can put my cursor over where it says front and I can click on it and now it switches to a front view. We're still looking through the same camera, it's just the camera moved to a front view. I can click on this little house up here, it takes me right back to where I was, the perspective view. We can click on right, we can click on these corners, so wherever you click on this cube it will automatically move the camera you're looking through to that position. And then if you want to get back to where you originally were, just click on the house. You can also move freehand. And the way you do that is to rotate, you're going to press and hold down the Alt button, and then you're going to press and hold down the left mouse button. And now you can move your cursor left and right, or up and down, to rotate your camera around your screen, your view panel. To pan, you're going to need a mouse that has a middle mouse button or a scroll wheel. And what you're going to do, you're going to press and hold down the Alt button. Then you're going to press and hold down the middle mouse button. And now you can move your mouse to pan around your screen. To zoom in, press and hold down the Alt button. Press and hold down the right mouse button. And now you can move your mouse left and right to zoom in and out. Now you can also zoom by scrolling the middle mouse wheel. Okay, one more time. The Alt button on your keyboard, at least for Windows, is right next to the spacebar, typically. It's the button with the ALT on it. I'm going to press and hold that down. I'm going to press and hold down the left mouse button. And now I'm just going to move my mouse to rotate my camera around my scene. To pan, I'm going to press and hold down the Alt button, press and hold down the middle mouse button, and now I can move my mouse to pan. And then to zoom in, I can either scroll that mouse wheel, or I can press and hold down the Alt button, press and hold down the right mouse button, and then move my mouse left and right. So one more time, real quick. To show and hide different parts of your user interface, go up to your display menu, go down to UI elements, and there's a list that you can turn off or turn on different items of your UI. There's also a hide all and a show all and a restore UI elements down at the bottom of that list. All right, if we go to a four panel view, you can grab these dividers with your left mouse button and you can drag them to resize those panels. You can also grab the horizontal or you can grab the center and adjust both horizontal and vertical together. We go back to a perspective view. We can show our view cube or this view axis down here in the bottom left by simply going up to display menu, down to our heads up display, and then you'll see in the list the view cube and the view axis. Feel free to play around with these other ones. One that I find really useful is the poly count. That won't be useful to you until later on when you start doing some uh, scenes. And finally, to move around to rotate, Alt, left mouse button. To pan, Alt, middle mouse button. And to zoom in, Alt, left mouse button. Or the scroll wheel. So practice those, and before you know it, it'll be like second nature to you. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.